at yesterday's big chili festival. Authorities provided this composite sketch based on a witness's account of the scene. He was like a blue blur. Then all the food was gone like a chili tornado. Now, as you guys know, DreamWorks Trolls, Unikitty, Descendants, and a whole bunch of other franchises, in my opinion, are my comfort franchises in terms of present day. But there's one childhood franchise that was very much a comfort franchise in my childhood and still today, and that is this blue blur. Not that blue blur, the other blue. There we go. So for me, when I was younger, I couldn't stand getting my hair cut, and so my mom and my grandmother were like, hey, after we're done, we'll go to McDonald's. I was like, all right, all right, as long as I get McDonald's, I'm fine. So I got done, and I couldn't stand the razor, so my grandmother and my mom were there like, okay, you didn't cry this time, you're A-okay. We're proud of you. Let's go to McDonald's. So it was kind of like a, a reward for me for like not being scared of the razor. Uh, and so we went and they had Sonic toys, which I didn't know who Sonic was. And so I got my toy and it was this Cream the Rabbit toy. And I didn't, I didn't mind. It was girly at all. I, I didn't mind. My girls and my mom were like, "Do you want this back?" I'm like, "No, I like it. I'm keeping it. This is fine." Um, and then, funny enough, years later, <laughs> at a McDonald's, funny enough, um, I was at a the the playhouse thing, the like the little play area, and they happened to have video game consoles, and lo and behold, they had. Sonic Heroes and it was left on the team Rose stage and I was like okay I'm gonna play this and then I looked at the screen and I'm like oh my gosh I know her that's Cream the Rabbit oh my gosh and I played through the whole stage and then I fell in love with Amy and I was like I like this this is fun funny enough didn't even play the Sonic stage or the chaotic stage. I just kept playing the team uh, Rose stage because I was having a good time. So that was my introduction to Sonic, not playing as Sonic, only playing as Amy and Cream and Big, but I didn't care about Big. I only came cared about Amy and Cream, and that's why Cream and Amy are like my two favorite characters. In terms of other Sonic games, it's it's the library is not that big for me. Uh, in terms of my first actual physical Sonic game, it was Mario and Sonic at the Winter Games on the DS. Then after that, it was Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed, and then Sonic Generations after that. So really, my library isn't big, but. I had fun with the games I owned, and I have a lot of great memories playing those games. So, as you guys know, my name is Speed Force Spectre, and that's connected to The Flash. I really love The Flash. I really love his powers. And, you know, since I just said that, like, Sonic is right up my alley. You know, you got this cute little gaming mascot that's also a speedster. It's like a match made in heaven for me. And it was kind of funny because, like, after the whole Sonic Heroes thing and uh, the little Cream the Rabbit uh, electronic game from McDonald's, you know, I went years without Sonic, but I still hold on to that memory because I was like, I really, I really want to know more about this franchise and I was really lucky because on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings Sonic X would play and that was my introduct my, my introduction and kind of an understanding for the character. Then years later, uh, still going on, a network on Sunday mornings would air Sonic Underground and the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and that was kind of 
for me, that was kind of my introduction to classic Sonic. And I got to watch side by side on Sunday. If I was staying home that day, I was able to watch Sonic Underground, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and Sonic X all on one Sunday. And I kind of always viewed <laughs> Sunday as my Sonic day because of all those cartoons were airing. And it just, for years, that was my pattern. Wake up on Saturday, watch Sonic X. Wake up on Sunday, watch Sonic Underground and The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And if I'm lucky to stay home, I can watch Sonic X also. And that was just kind of my way of enjoying the franchise because I couldn't get the games. And then years later, I got the internet and I got to learn more about the franchise and more about the characters and everything else and just enjoy it with other fans. And really, honestly, it's for me just enjoying the franchise in my own way has been really, really fun. And I really love and enjoy these characters and learning more. Um, and funny enough, my intro, not the one that I have right now in this video, but if you go and watch my other videos, my intro is very much inspired from Riders DX, who is a SpongeBob and Sonic YouTuber, which I enjoy both of those franchises. And also lately, I've been really enjoying Speed Super Sonic and his videos on the franchise. Here we are in the future. Here we are in the future, and it's bright. When it comes down to movie news or movie rumors, they could start really, really early. A great example is the Ugly Dolls movie. This movie idea was announced right after the very first Despicable Me movie came out. So I've been waiting for Ugly Dolls from 2010 all the way to 2019 when it moved over to movie studios and finally became a thing. So in terms of a Sonic the Hedgehog movie waiting for it to happen. I've been waiting ever since I was in middle school until 2020. And the news went on for a long time. And I got to be honest, because that news started back when I was in middle school, you know, I was more hyped for that compared to later along the lines of Pikachu and a Mario movie being announced, and I love both of those franchises, but this movie in particular, I've been excited for. When the old design got released in the trailer, I was kind of like, I like this. I like this design. Keep in mind, it wasn't the Sonic I envisioned or thought of when I thought Sonic on the big screen, but I was willing to give it a chance. Funny enough, as we all know now, the design changed, and I gotta be honest, I can't really look at that old design the same way, because this design, this design right here, is the reason why Sonic is so important to me, and yes, I know it's a design, it's something very, very little, but it's actually a lot bigger, and I'm actually really happy that we're kind of living in this timeline with this version of Sonic looking the way that he does because all the way back in middle school, this was kind of the Sonic movie I was hoping for. Yes, would I would rather have it fully animated? Absolutely. But this Sonic movie that we have right now, I don't see anything wrong with it in terms of right now, in terms of recording of this video. Now, you know how I said I view Sonic as, well, I view Sunday as my Sonic day. Well, tomorrow's my birthday in terms of recording this video. And one of the things I asked for was to go see Sonic the Hedgehog because, well, Sonic is kind of like my thing and Sonic and Sunday just kind of go together for me. And <laughs> Seeing Sonic on my birthday, that's like even like even more awesomeness to it. So yeah, I'm really excited to go see this movie and I'm really glad that, you know, 
I have this amazing franchise as one of my go-tos, my one of my really favorite franchises, and I'm happy to be seeing this movie tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm Speed Force Spectre, and I'm signing out.